Hey, it's Lisa here with a January 16th edition of Your Love Note. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Um, today, the conversation really boils around that no matter where you are in your energetic or spiritual journey, you're exactly in the right spot for you. Um, exactly in the right spot for you. And you know, the question came up about why do I do these love notes and why are they so informal and why do I talk about some of the topics that I talk about? And uh, that's a really great question. It all came about actually from a willingness to follow this encouragement I'd been given to about active surrender. And some of you have heard me talk about that in the past, actually aligning with my higher self, seeing, you know, asking the question, how can I how can I be of greatest service or how can I make my unique contribution? And then actually listening for the answer and going and doing that. And what I've been told is that there are a lot of people trying to make sense of the spiritual path. And there are a lot of people out there, you know, coaches and teachers and spiritual leaders and others who talk to people who look just like me, you know, middle-aged white women who love our crystals and our essential oils and go into workshops and stuff. But what I was told is that there aren't a whole lot of people who especially are willing to talk to men and especially men who maybe, you know, come from more blue collar backgrounds, more rural backgrounds, maybe don't have a college education, maybe, you know, for maybe whom this conversation might seem foreign and folks, you know, talking in platitudes and, and you know, from a mountaintop somewhere, mountaintops are cool, by the way, but that, it's hard to make this conversation accessible because a lot of folks just don't make it very real, you know, in terms of real life. And that they wanted me to be real and to come out and have, talk about the energetic conversation, talk about spirituality, from a, but from a place that would actually resonate with people more like me and dudes more like those that I'm surrounded by here. I mean, who am I to have any of these conversations? I'm just some chubby chick who lives on a donkey farm in the middle of freaking rural Oklahoma, right? I mean, who am I? But yet they're using me as a vehicle to have these conversations with people maybe just like you. And if you've watched these and gotten anything out of these, even though this might not be what you typically tune into, then you're the folks that I'm here to talk to. <laughs> I thank you genuinely for being here. You know, one thing that, um, that I was told is that nobody gets left behind. And that part of my role is to make sure that everyone feels like there's a voice that they can turn to that makes sense to them and speaks their language as we're going through this time of, of spiritual progress and, and, you know, energetic turmoil in a lot of ways. And that that's important because fellows <laughs> you're needed where we're headed next you are needed and you, you being part of the conversation is important making the conversation accessible is important too and so that's part of you know what they've asked me to do not in a way of just from showing up and being real i'm going to be honest you know having conversations about jeeps and hiking and riverbanks and dirt roads and dogs and poop apparently and probably at some point sex those are just real to me because that's my life and so it's not a matter of trying to be a certain kind of person to appeal to a certain demographic but rather just showing up and being real and the right people who will find the message from that, you know, we'll, we'll find the message from that. So, you know, it's interesting because as a, as a spiritual entrepreneur, you know, so many market marketing experts, you know, tell us to find our niche and only talk to that niche and that I should probably be talking to some other, you know, middle-aged white woman in Dubuque with, you know, 3.2 kids and, you know, whatever. Okay. Or I could just show up and be me. And hopefully just showing up and being me will be enough to actually resonate with somebody out there in a way who's not getting the message anywhere else or not resonating with the energy and with the spiritual conversation messages from anywhere else. So 
regardless of where you are on this journey, some people might be totally offended that I even think that the guides would talk to me, first of all, and secondly, like they would talk about poop, as if the guides would come in and talk about things like that. That's my experience because I do believe that the cool thing about the universe and the cool thing about the divine is that it meets us where we are. <laughs> Apparently that's where I am. But that also gives me the opportunity to meet other people where they are when they're in a place that's similar to where I am. And so, um, personally, I think that's one of the things that's pretty damn cool about the spiritual journey and about how all this works. I think it's no accident at all that I'm in rural Oklahoma right now having these conversations. I think it's no accident at all that you know, some of the men, especially in the first Warrior of Light program that I ran, you know, diesel truck mechanic, dump truck driver, petroleum worker, sheet metal worker, you know, I mean, guys from blue collar backgrounds that may or may not have had college education. I didn't ask, it wasn't relevant, but who were interested in how can I learn more about this this energy conversation, how can I learn more about my own spiritual nature and this spiritual journey? And how can I do it in a way where I don't feel like some kind of a dumbass in the process with people talking down at me or thinking I'm the problem instead of part of the solution? Good questions, <laughs> all. <laughs> and that's when, you know, my guides come in and say, hey, we've got a, we've got a void we need you to fill. And so here I am having these conversations. If, uh, if you know anyone who fits in this, in this, you know, kind of category, am I willing to t talk with anybody? Absolutely. Um, do I welcome anyone into my programs? Absolutely. Women, men, regardless of, of whatever. Absolutely. You know, some of my, some of my closest friends on this journey are other people who look, you know, just like me not look just like me, but who are, you know, probably similar demographic, we'll put it that way. But the truth is they've got a huge number of other resources that they can confidently turn to, to get this information. A huge number of others. Not everybody feels that way. Not everybody feels that they've got those kinds of resources um, or people that they know that they can listen to, trust, reach out to, you know, have these kinds of conversations in a way that feels directly meaningful to their own lives. That's, that's what I'm trying, you know, to do, to show up here every day. <laughs> this is day 16. I, this might be the most consistent I've been at anything <laughs> in a very long time but trying to show up and be real and have conversations about things that I truly believe are meaningful, not only now in navigating the weirdness of this time, but also meaningful for where we're going spiritually in the future. What, what does this you know, higher level of consciousness, higher vibration of energy on the earth and those changes, what does that mean? What does that feel like? What does that look like? How do we navigate that with as much ease and grace as possible? Some people will affirmatively choose not to be part of the solution and to continue throwing kindling and dumping gas on the problem. Okay, that's their free will choice. Others might be saying, hey, I actually wanna be part of the solution. I wanna be part of where we're heading. I just don't exactly know how. And this conversation's a little foreign to me and I'm intrigued, you know, but, but, Ah, sh show me something on the road. If you know folks like that, maybe encourage them, you know, to come watch these videos. They're over on YouTube too, on my YouTube channel, Lisa Wade Alchemy. Um, I'll put the link down below. But, you know, encourage them to come watch. This is not, this is totally free. I'm not asking for anything here. But if there's something in these conversations that resonates with you or resonates with other people that you know, I'm just asking you to share you know, or, or direct them to me or, or, or to these videos or whatever, because I truly think we have a chance to get there together. We just have to make sure that nobody is left behind and that there is a voice for everyone out there. And sure, I'm not your traditional voice. And maybe that's perfect. Maybe that is exactly why I'm doing that because I don't look and sound just like everybody else. So anyway, 
they asked me to just kind of share why I'm doing what I'm doing. And there it is in a nutshell. <laughs> um, I am committed to the idea that nobody gets left behind, that people who are interested in being a part of the energy conversation and the spiritual conversation moving forward have someone in their corner that can help guide those discussions from a non non judgmental non you know pious type place. Let's keep it real, folks. As long as we keep it real, we can apply it to life and we can make this ride of life, even these weird ass times, if not easier, then at least more enjoyable. We'll laugh a whole hell of a lot more. <laughs> and to me, that's, you know, that is easier. That does make things easier. So, anyway, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your Saturday. Remember, always, the guides always close with this just that remember that you are always loved always and in all ways and they simply encourage that you take that love that is your inherent birthright and pay it forward because that's what the world needs is more people knowing they are loved without a doubt and paying that love forward to the people who have maybe forgotten it i love you have a great day